Jan Janikowi. Let's see about another side. I don't want to go sit right in front of her because that's where she's sort of looking every now and again towards those impala. Let's see, maybe we can get around on that side of the trimmat man, sort of get on the other side of her. Amazing cat though. Yeah. Leopards are incredible. Great view. Hey, beautiful. eyes. Not bother just looking at us a little bit. We are slightly different looking, maybe slightly peculiar compared to the typical game drive vehicle, but she's seen us many times. You see that sort of cursory glance and pretty much ignoring us again. At the moment, I can't see any of those impala. I don't know. Alex, can you see any impala? No, I don't see that. Um, no. I, that direction, just heard some oxpeckers fly off from them. She can probably just glance them now and again, if that. They're a little bit far, lots of bush in between, but that's good. I mean, that provides cover for her. She's not too worried about being seen. Also, the breeze is coming straight from them towards us, so she can easily smell them as well. I can look at her body beat language or the behavior she's doing at the moment. She's not in stalking mode. It's not like she's willing to hunt now. But she's obviously aware of a herd of impala. More important, like I said earlier, she's also very aware of the fact that there's lots of young impala there. So for her to try and make an effort now, unless a really good opportunity presents itself, like a little lamb that strolls off from the herd or something, it would be much wiser for her, much uh, better sort of instinctive hunting, I guess, for her as well. So just take it easy, not be seen. Just wait till she knows where they are. They're not going to move too much further before sunset. And then rather try and get in close to them just after the sun sets in that sort of dusky period, crepuscular time. That would be her best chance or best opportunity to hunt. At the same time, all predators and even leopards, maybe even more so, are incredibly opportunistic. If something presents itself, she will instantly go into crouch mode and try and take advantage of it. So I think we're going to sit here for a while. It doesn't seem like there's too many game drivers heading this way, so hopefully we can spend some time with her. glancing over at us again. Almost if she's wondering what we're talking about. And oh, this is so beautiful. Just look at those eyes. Such an enigmatic enigmatic and mysterious animal. I mean everyone that's ever seen a leopard in the wild I'm sure every single person that's looking at this leopard now, if it's maybe the first time you've seen a leopard sort of live, then um, I'm sure you will forever fall in love with this creature. It is one of the most amazing animals on our planet. Very successful still, even though humans have hunted and persecuted them for a long time, you still find them in quite a large area of Africa, Asia. 
very adaptable as well. They can live in anything from desert environments to jungles. Not a very big female Karula is it's difficult to say exactly. I haven't weighed a lot of leopards before, but I would say she's probably about 25, 27 kilograms. Wouldn't say more than 30 kilograms at the most. So it's about 60 odd pounds at the at the top end, maybe as little as as 55 pounds. Big male leopard can go up to about 60, 70 kilograms, about 150, 170 pounds. Occasionally a bit bigger than that, but not not typically quite a large difference between males and females. A big male will be twice the size of a big female. to Alex. I don't know if you can see with the camera maybe. Just that line. You can just see a few tails flicking and the movements of Impala. So they're actually getting closer to the side. Again, they're not in any way close enough for Karula, this leopard, to pay much attention. But just to give you an idea of where they are, Alex will just try and show you some of that movement. There we go. You can actually see them quite well from the camera's position. So quite a ways off, I'd say probably about 90 meters, maybe 100 meters, 300 odd feet. And as they disappear, it seems she's gone back to sleep for now. Like I said, patience is the name of the game for all your predators. If they had to compete amongst each other for who's the most patient predator, I'm sure Leopard would come out tops quite often. Oh, brilliant! I love surprises. <laughs> I was just wondering, we haven't seen these cubs in ages. I looked around and just look at that. Wow. That is classic. I was wondering actually, sort of, Karula actually helped us find it. She was looking this direction and she just looked at something with that sort of like a mother like look look at that ah fantastic mm. gotta love this stuff <laughs> 